Uh, hi guys. Are we started again? I think we're started again. Okay, we are going to go rip roaring through this. Have you ever run Class Five Rapids? You go really fast because no. the water is surging, and you don't diddly dally. So we're going. You don't what? We, we're we're going to skip certain agenda items, what? even though it's going to make no. Robbie pink. No, because we want to draw. That makes we want to read. I'm sorry. Your happiness is not my priority. Oh. I wish it were, but it's not. The Real McCoys, May 20, 2020. Greetings. Greetings. Hi. Hello, everyone. Water, water exists. Have some. Um, Wait, Matthew's where's theme song. Water? No, we're not having it. What? Matthew's theme song number one. Imagine it in your heads. Eat pie because uh, eat a bit more pie just because pie is delicious. And Robbie, you have to read this. I can't do both things. Oh, eat a bit more pie because pie is delicious, and there are no rules against eating pie on this show. Are you gonna make me drink water? Yes, I already ate a little piece of your pie on my way to get the water. I just ate pie, but because the agenda told me to do it again. This is this is Robbie's piece of pie, but I'm gonna. What? Mm-hmm. Mm, mm. In the last episode, we talked about whey. We made some whey when we made ricotta cheese. W h e y. Where there's a will, where there's ricotta, there's whey. Where there are curds, there are whey. There's so many life truths that we could share with you. All right, what does that say? Reading a thoughtful viewer submitted email number two. All right, you guys. Our friend Jen, you know what? Should we do Jennifer's email tomorrow? We should do Jennifer's email while I do a little inking. Okay, I will do Jennifer's email during the inking. What is the next thing? Oh, the inking's not on here. Oh, yeah. Robbie continues sketching or refining. If, if need be, yes. Need be. It need be. Well, we in the need last be. show, I made a little mess up. I made a mistake, and we sort of had to rejigger everything and start over from the beginning. So, for those of you who are just joining us, I, I'm, I'm just, you guys are just going to have to get sick. Get motion sickness that's while I move pretty, this. I mean, while I move this pretty... over. Okay. So all right. here is uh, here's all I have drawn so far of our um, of our adorable koala. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh gosh, I'm trying to make this behave. I'm trying to find Jennifer's email. Okay. So what I have here, guys, is a piece of paper. What I have is taped onto the back of the piece of paper is another piece of paper that has a printout of my drawing my sketch of the koala if that doesn't look to like to like the, the like a koala to you wait till robbie presses the magic yes. button watch so gonna, what happens i i have under here a light table yeah. so this is a plastic plexiglass cover over a light okay see when i turn it on there's the light Woo! okay and now you can see oh it's like magic robbie it's like magic so you can see my sketch underneath and my drawing on top so basically i'm just taking the um my ink and this is a quick easy way if you get a sketch that looks um you know that looks to your satisfaction this is an easy way to transfer it now you can use uh, instead of a light table you can trace up against a window uh, if you darken your room enough but it's a little hard to draw vertically talking about neologisms and Robbie and I were wondering aloud how neologisms related to slang and jargon. Do you remember yes, that, Robbie? Yes, yes. So our friend Jennifer, who brings truth and is appreciated, is going to share with you her thoughts on neologisms, jargon, and slang. Are you ready? I don't care if you're ready. Your only alternative is turning the show off suddenly, which I hope you don't do. Hi, Matthew. Thank you for taking the time to share my email today. I'm happy to accept the challenge and attempt to explain the difference between slang and jargon and neologisms and she says i thought i should add jargon to this list slang this is a definition from the oxford english dictionary which is a dictionary in 20 volumes you guys because there's so many words it doesn't fit in one book the oxford english dictionary attempts to include all words in the language however obscure it's an amazing phenomenal document they sell a smaller edition of the english oxford english dictionary in three volumes but the type is so small that it comes with a magnifying glass. What? So that you can read it. Yeah, it's printed in almost microscopic type to make it all fit. And so you have to use a magnifying glass to read it. And it comes with a magnifying glass. Wow, that's that's actually very kind of them. Isn't that pretty cool? They could have just not done that yeah. extra step. Or you can subscribe, pay thousands of dollars, and get all 20 um, editions. And buy your own magnifying and glass. You don't need a magnifying glass oh. if it's 20. Because oh, they print oh, it in the, you see, the I 20 see. book version. All right. Slang, from the Oxford English Dictionary, is a type of language that consists of words and phrases that are regarded as very informal, are more common in speech than in writing, and are typically restricted to a particular context or group of people. Okay? So not very official, more likely to exist within a certain smaller group of people than the entirety of the people who speak a given language. Okay? 
Robbie mentioned the Rona as used among a specific group of people. It is slang. Matthew pointed out that he does not use that phrase, to which Robbie said it was used in a group chat. It's worthwhile to mention that chatting online or texting is not considered formal writing per the definition above. Oh, well, okay? my goodness. All right. Matthew mentioned on fleek. It is also slang. More hmm. below. There are many types of slang. They exist most often within specific groups, schools, families, and social groups, for example. Since slang is so often tied to specific groups of people, it is fun to look at slang as it fits generationally. In the 1960s, we said groovy. In the 1980s, the same concept might have been expressed with gnarly. Today, on fleek means basically the same thing. In the 1920s, the bee's knees or the cat's pajamas meant the same thing. Word and phrase origins are an entirely different topic, but today, these phrases sound like nonsense. Moving on to the next category. Jargon is a language that is tied to a specific type of business or industry. On the program, you and Robbie mentioned terms that apply to book publishing. In each time, you need to stop and explain what those terms mean to those who are unfamiliar. Every business has words that are unique to them. Schools have jargon, too. Commonly used jargon would likely be found in a standard dictionary. If it's not common lang language, it's slang. Okay? Okay. Neologisms. Uh -huh. On to this week's word challenge. Neologisms are new words, as we discussed. But in truth, for a word to be considered a formal neologism, it needs to be used repeatedly over time, embraced by large groups, and the important detail that it results is that it is added to the dictionary. Still, there is a lot of room for new words that can't become formal neologisms with time. Every year, the Merriam-Webster Dictionary and the Oxford English Dictionary publish their newly added words. Approximately 1,000 new words are added yearly, typically in the spring and fall. Yes, slang might be included as a neologism, but only after it has gained wide acceptance and use beyond the original segment of the population that initially embraced it. This is why, you guys, we need to start now getting Jackety Dancing <laughs> out into the popular consciousness. They need to be using it in North Dakota. They need to be using it in Florida. They need to be using it in California, in Alaska, in Hawaii. Well, all, one way to place. get words all over the place, yeah. I would think, would what? be to have a YouTube channel Yes, where people from everywhere can watch it. Right, and especially if Slim encourages liking. I think that would help. All right, Slim, can you get on that? I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, the Urban Dictionary is an online dictionary that attempts to define the current day's slang. FYI, jaggedy, with G's, oh. G-A-G-G-E-D-Y, is in the Urban Dictionary, what? but not yet in Webster's. Maybe someday, Jennifer. I wonder what jaggedy means. Jennifer, I salute you. I appreciate it. All right? Thank you. Thank you for doing that work. Thank you for, you know, one of the things that's hardest is coming up with things to say while Robbie is drawing. And it usually falls on me because Robbie's brain is busy drawing. I can't, I can't do I know, both no, things I totally at once. get it. I'm so I, bad at it. It would be very hard for me to hold a conversation while I was writing a story. Um, but having Jennifer's thoughtful words to read is really incredibly helpful. You might want to so. add our um, Instagram people just because we told them we were coming back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I not. Did. I did. No, nope, that's true. All right. So, um, so uh, koalas eat eucalyptus leaves. And I always thought eucalyptus. Friends, we are had... back, but I, you you missed a little bit of the drawing because I was reading a long and really thoughtful email from our friend Jennifer. So um, here we go. Oh, Robbie, your koala came to life while people were elsewhere. So what do you have to say for yourself? Uh, I was just going to say that mm -hmm. koalas uh, apparently eat eucalyptus. Yeah, right. Right mm -hmm. from eucalyptus trees. Correct. I thought eucalyptus had like round, kind of gray leaves that were. Yeah, I thought so too. Uh, that's not the trees the koalas are shown climbing in. So maybe in... they climb in certain trees and eat in certain trees, maybe? I don't know. So somebody will have to look up. I mean, I, I did a quick Google search on Google uh, image search, and all of the koalas were in trees that had these kind of leaves. Now, here's a question, Robbie. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, I think this is going to be an, a, a popular image. I love it. Yeah. I really like it. I like the context. I like how it has a little bit of setting into it. Okay. Um did you decide against adding the eyes after? No, I'm 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 saving it You're for last because I'm a little worried I'm going to put them in the wrong place. Wait, but wouldn't you want to do it first then if you were worried about it instead uh, of doing it last? Of course, that's what a sensible person well, would do. Well, that's what you did last time. Remember, but you Robbie with... is not sensible. Okay. 
And you know what I was thinking I might do? Tell me. I might put the eyes onto the sketch and make sure they're in the right place. Oh, good. And then do the eyes, then retape the piece of paper on. Wow. And then... Extra effort. Oh, make th the three eyes snaps for extra effort, Robbie. Thanks, man. Good work. Um, our friend Emma Sovich is back. Hello, Emma! Um, you Even though you yell at her... She, no, she knows. She, the, she, she can sense my enthusiasm. Her, I'm turning away back. from your illustration so I can see Emma's face. I can see your face. No, I can't, you can't. but you can see mine. That's can you lot. see the enthusiasm that I'm feeling? Robbie wants me to speak more quietly, so I'm going to. Um, so someone is asking to be in our live video. I don't think well, that's a good idea since I don't know who it is. I don't know how that works. You have to tell me more about who you are before I'm going to let you into our live video, friend. Okay, um, so okay. now I'm going to try to add some kind of texture to this tree. Okay. Which I'm a little worried about, too, because I didn't. I didn't plan that ahead of time. Um, the person who wants to be in our live video sent me 25 broccoli emojis. Does well, that mean anything to you, Robbie? No. No, not to me either. Is it Jasper? Jasper loves broccoli. He does love broccoli. When we have Jasper, when we have um, Jasper the broccoli for dinner, um, Jasper will go around and steal the broccoli from everybody else's yes. uh, plates. But, you know, he's a growing boy and it's nutritive, so we generally don't protest. Robbie, I love this illustration. Um, okay, so okay. now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the tree trunk. And the trick is this, guys. how far to go? No, no. Um, it's some kind of a little bit of texture on the tree trunk. See here I, on the sketch, I just did some lines. Mm -hmm. What I need to make sure I do is distinguish between these fuzzy, furry lines mm -hmm. that are showing the fur of the right. koala and just, like, bark lines, right? Okay. So I'm thinking that maybe some, like, uneven... Sort of. Oh. Robbie, again, I'm struck by the confidence with which you just put pen to paper. You just, like, you just go for it. Well, you just believe that something is going to, something good is going to happen. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. I think that's the thing. I think that's when you know that you have some skill, when you can do something intuitively and you don't think about it. You just lay it down. Well. You just, yeah, I like what's happening here. I don't feel very confident you at don't? the moment, if that makes you well, feel Well, it sure better. looks confident. Thanks. All right? I like it. I like it very much. And um, you know that you're going to paint over it, right? Yes. You're kind of creating texture that's going to be part of a painting. Yes. Yes. Okay, so so there we go. Okay. Well, one, one good thing about painting on white paper, mm -hmm. as opposed to the colored paper that I've been using, right. um, is that I don't have to worry too much about the opacity of the paint mm -hmm. i can lay the paint on light and these black lines will show through right right versus worrying about like I having what you're doing rob okay so now okay. what i'm gonna do what was the other thing no, that i realized gonna, I... oh i need to color in his nose oh the no oh you haven't done that yet okay I haven't done that yet so i'm a little bit fooled by the underdrawing right it's harder yes. for me to tell what's happening yes because... uh, and maybe i should turn this off okay so that i oh, get so that a sense see. of what he oh. actually looks like oh i love him See, I did a little bit of a blobby little blob. there, yeah. but I think that's okay. You can hide we're that. Gonna, we're right. going to live with that. Okay. Um, will this be a nib-killing drawing, do you think? Uh, is this the last time this nib will see the light of day? Oh, that scratching gives me a little bit of a muzu muzu. Hmm, I'm not able to... My There we go. Um, e wants us to get reading already, so... Oh, well, we will We will soon. Robbie's almost done, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm g delighted that you're enthusiastic, my friend. Don't worry. Robbie, we, yeah, we probably should stop pretty soon. Okay. Okay. But you're pretty much done except for those eyes, right? And some yeah. shading on the sunglasses? Yeah. Do you want to so finish or do you want to do that later? Uh, I'm going to do the eyes in the privacy of my own... Shame? Shame. Okay. Yeah. Robbie, say goodbye so to your friends on Instagram. Hi, friends on Instagram. Um, Thank you for joining us. The person us. who sent us koalas and broccoli was Wayne, and we visited oh. his school. Oh. Sorry we couldn't have you on our video, but we were focused on drawing today, Wayne. I uh, I hope you are well. Thank you for joining us. We will be back <laughs> soon. Goodbye, friends. All right. Uh, thank you, people, for being so patient while I All right, Robbie, attempted to do let's this. Let's cut to the chase. So what else do we have? There are a couple spots that ended up sort of blobby, so i got to keep this flat. Okay, because you I, don't want them to, to, want to roll and drain. All, All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Matthew re interrupt in the middle of a scene that's developing. And what was happening is that Moxie is going to her first Wonder Scout meeting, and that's a pretty serious event. So, Robbie, can you please load me up with yes. a PDF so I can get started yeah. here? And we will...
boom, ba -da -da boom, boom. Okay, boom, there boom. you are. Uh, um, hey guys, I'm going to disappear for a moment to wash out my nib because if I let it dry, it's... Wait, you think you can just leave me here I by myself? I can just leave you here okay. by yourself. All right, guys, I'm jumping in for E, for the love of Moxie. Um, is this set up so that if I push the button, it's going to advance it, Robbie? Because nope. I, I don't want to be left alone in the wilderness with a malfunctioning PDF. Chapter 3, The First Meeting. During first recess on Wednesday, I inform the crowd of eager kids that Eminem Incorporated will be closed indefinitely while we focus on a case so important that it could shape the future of Tiddlywump and beyond. While our would-be clients wander off sadly, Emily, Milton, and I discuss my disguise. Emily has brought the perfect headband, a shade of blue that exactly matches the Wonder Scout sash. I tell them my plan to wear the bright pink flower girl dress I wore for my Aunt Donna's wedding. Of course I loathe the dresses and would probably have gotten rid of it ages ago, but Mom told me not to in case Aunt Donna gets married more than once. And then we turn to establishing my character. I start with the basics. When Annabelle Adams goes undercover, she always uses an accent. What kind of accent do Wonder Scouts use? Says Milton. I have no idea, I admit. Do I need to get Henrietta? asks Emily. Who? Emily points to a girl I swear I've never seen before in my life. We talked to her yesterday, says Emily, who usually doesn't get so exasperated. Suddenly, I remember. No, Henrietta talks like a sleepy robot, I say, doing my best sleepy robot impression. Milton takes a different approach. Which accents do you know? The question raises a problem. Since Annabelle lives inside a book, I am only familiar with the various accents are called. I'm not sure how they sound. But Emily and Milton do not know that. British, Spanish, Upper Barmonian, Lower Barmonian, Feisty French Housekeeper, Irritated Peruvian Pirate, Sleepy German Baroness with Lingering Heartburn. I could go on. I'm guessing Wonder Scouts have a private way of speaking that they don't reveal until they're sure no one is listening. I'll just have to wait and see what it sounds like, and then do my best to talk that way. Makes sense, says Emily. Sounds difficult, says Milton. Difficult is my middle name, I say. Of course, this is not true. But gosh, I wish it were. <laughs> the rest of the school day goes by, and I can't learn a thing. My brain is already full like a chef at the end of a cookie convention. That night, Dad drives me to my first Wonder Scouts meeting in the basement of the Tiddlywump Community Center. What's with the party dress? He asks, failing to hide his surprise. This is an extremely fancy club. And the glasses? To complete my disguise, I have added a pair of rhinestone-encrusted spectacles from the costume box, and a pair of fancy white gloves. You're always telling Milton and me to express our originality. Would you agree that I look extremely original? Without a doubt. So, what's this club? The Wonder Scouts. It's for young women of sterling character. I smile with all my teeth, letting Dad see just how sterling I am. I thought you didn't like clubs. I have often told Dad that I am far too original to join a club. That may be true, but you and Mom always tell me to keep an open mind. That's very wise, says Dad, laughing a little. There's nothing Dads like more than hearing you say their wise words back to them. Just like you, I say, and it's the truest thing I've said all day. I've never met a smarter, kinder, wiser person than Dad. Unless it's Mom. But at the moment, Mom is in a tiny purple submarine, bravely scouring a deep sea trench off the northeast coast of New Zealand, in search of super giant amphipods, which are sometimes called the insects of the sea. This is all very exciting for Mom, but pretty hard for the rest of us since cell phones don't work underwater. When we pull up to the curb, Tammy and Tracy are already lurking by the front door. I get out of the car, and they give me a double glare. If Tammy is happy to see me, she's more lovable than the Dublingers. The thought of talking to her makes me itchy. But I have a case to solve, and so I take a deep breath and harness my inner Annabelle. Megan, I say, smiling and batting my eyelash as if it were I were greeting a minor celebrity. Moxie, says Megan, as if I were a piece of ham she forgot to take out of her lunchbox on Friday afternoon 
and now it's Monday morning. What's with the fancy dress? Megan knows me as someone who tends to err on the side of casual. What? This old thing? It's just something I slip on to when I'm feeling particularly wholesome. So, what are you doing here? I'm afraid I can't tell you. Megan puts her hands across her sash as if it were a cupboard full of secrets. It's okay, Megan. I'm here to join the Wonder Scouts, I say. Megan looks at me with horror. You can't. You have to be nominated. Excellent. I assume you'll nominate me. We're old friends, you and I. Annabelle has taught me that the best way to make someone believe you're their friend is to tell them that they're your friend. We are? Of course. Remember that time on the playground? Megan looks confused, which makes sense. There was no time on the playground. You have to earn your nomination, she insists. Great. How? By being worthy, I scoff. If there is anyone more worthy than Moxie McCoy, I'd be afraid to meet her. I'm about to explain the eleven ways in which I'm worthy, when a tall, stern, noble-looking woman strides into the room like the queen of all lions. She is powerful. She is elegant. I might even call her magnificent. Without knowing why, I want her to be like me. (coughs) To like me. I join the other girls as we form a circle. Good evening, Wonder Scouts. Before we get started, I see a new face in our midst. Step forward, young woman. I step forward. Chin up, back straight. I raise my chin and straighten my back and wonder if this is how mannequins feel when they're modeling a trendy new blazer. Who is your sponsor? Excuse me? Wonder Scouts is a group of young women of remarkable promise and unimpeachable ethics. We are wary of inviting anyone into our midst without a character reference. Is there anyone here who can vouch for... What's your name? Moxie. Moxie McCoy. And I am Veronica. Veronica Wonder. Wonder is the perfect name for this woman. Now, Moxie. She says my name as if it were a jigsaw puzzle piece she can't quite find a place for yet. You must go to school with some of our members. Surely one of them can vouch for you. Tammy looks down at her feet. A girl I sort of halfway recognize looks terrified. There are a few other girls I may have seen before, but their faces are as blank as the diary of someone with nothing to say. Veronica peers deep into my eyes as if searching for the secrets of the universe. Well then, please tell me why you think you should be a Wonder Scout. I chew on that. It's probably not the best idea to say, I am trying to help my swarm enemy defeat my other sworn enemy while gaining knowledge necessary to bring your sinister organization to its knees. So I say other things instead. Because I am strong and swift and smart and fearless and swashbuckling and... That's enough. Thank you, says Veronica. I admire your self-confidence, but what about your humility? I have heard the word, but I don't entirely know what it means. What about it? Humility is an awareness of one's shortcomings. What are your shortcomings, Moxie? It's as if she has asked me to explain why 2 plus 2 equals 5. I pride myself on doing the right thing 100% of the time. I am allergic to shortcomings. Are you saying you're perfect? Of course not. Nobody's perfect. Well then... I search widely for sh- wildly for shortcomings, but I'm drawing a blank. Let's see. I can't fly a helicopter. Not yet, anyway. Okay. What else? I've never won a Nobel Prize. A girl with curly dark hair and sassy red glasses steps forward. I've never seen her before. She has a gleam in her eye. I nominate Moxie. Veronica looks surprised. On what are you basing your nomination, Hilly? I like how she talks. Very well, says Veronica. Does anyone second the nomination? I am standing in a circle of mice. After a long pause, Tammy Dublinger raises her hand. It seems she has finally realized that I'm here to work on her case. I second the nomination. Tracy glares at her sister as if Tammy has just slapped her in the face with a cold, wet glove. On what are you basing your nomination, Tammy? 
I watch as Tammy's brain searches for a way to justify her outrageous act of Dublinger betrayal. I like her ridiculous outfit. Suddenly, Tracy gets the joke and gives Tammy the meanest high five in the history of evil twin celebratory hand slaps. A couple of the other girls snicker for a moment until Veronica gives them a glare that shuts them right up. All right, then, says Veronica. As I'm sure you know, Moxie, Wonder Scouts is an organization built on sisterhood and trust. Do you promise to keep our secrets? Veronica looks at me like she's sequencing my DNA and washing my hair at the same time. I had not intended to keep any Wonder Scout secrets, but I suppose I could be persuaded to do so, especially since my actual mission is securing the downfall of a Dublinger. I do, I say. I promise. Veronica's eyes relax into a smile. Very well, then. Welcome to the Wonder Scouts. You have earned your first badge. She hands me an embroidered patch that shows a hand with three fingers raised in the shape of a W, and I find myself loving it, despite every awful thing it represents. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I would like that badge. Um, we talked about getting we these badges did. produced at one point, yeah. and then life intervened. As you guys are going to find out soon, there are 20 badges and they're all cool because they're, they're all cool. designed by Robbie Bear. <laughs> and someday, someday we will. Someday we will. Robbie? Oh my gosh, it's bet. 2 o'clock. It oh my is. gosh, yes. Um, were there any riddles? Were there any jokes? Is there, there were anything? riddles. There Did were you want to show some things? Do you, well, go, go ahead. Go I ahead. just liked my um, hair, washing hair, DNA. hair, and DNA. I also like I the, don't remember drawing that, you guys. It was I, probably in the middle of the night when your brain was actually working yeah. on something else. I love the gallery of scowling girls. Um, Megan and Tracy and Hilly being the lone smiler. I'm not exactly sure where that is since you only have half the page showing. It's down along the bottom of one of the pages. There we are. But I love it. I love the two Dublingers. I love the one. Um, the, Tracy, who I imagine is bending over the most forward. Who Tammy knows? is looking down at her feet. Yeah, Tracy's looking at her. Oh, okay. Yeah, Tammy looks a little bit like Gollum to me there. I think. And there's Henry to Bork. I just love it. I love it. I love it. Very expressive, Robbie. Okay. Um, do we have any parting shots? Do we, we do. We, any... we right. have we have right. some riddles. All right, let's do I mean, it. Al Puppy showed up. All right, people are going to start complaining soon about us going know, on too long. So let's... Uh, uh, okay, what is okay. full of holes but still holds water? This is a riddle. Full of holes but yes. still holds water. Um, well, a cup has one big hole in the top and it's that still... That is not full of holes. Okay. Yeah. Swiss cheese nope. containers. Nope. Full of holes. I oh, a this... plot. A plot. Uh, a, no. a bad plot is full of holes. No, that wouldn't hold water. That's why they say this plot doesn't hold water. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Um, what? A sponge. A sponge. <gasps> it was That's a, a good simple, one. Okay. Simple answer, okay. All right. Makes it's not clever. Okay. It's yeah. Okay. Yeah. Riddle. If a red house is made of red bricks mm -hmm. and a yellow house is made of yellow bricks, what is a green house made of? Glass. Oh yes. Sorry. Got it. Greenhouse made okay. of glass. Okay. What begins with an E but only has one letter? E but only an envelope. Oh. Oh, good for you. I mean, Have I knew that, that I was, no, I just knew I was being tricked. Uh, I knew oh, I was being tricked. Okay. Yeah. Yes, if I had just, um. Yeah. If it had come out of context. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is that good? Did we do it? Um. Oh, what does apparently Jennifer say? there are many varieties of eucalyptus. Oh. Several leaf shapes. Thank you, Jennifer. So, uh, yeah. Where would we be without Jennifer? I, I don't know. It's good that I didn't draw our, um. Traditional looking one? Uh, the eucalyptus that I was thinking of. Because it would be Because hard. then all of the people who know about koalas would be like, why is it in that kind of eucalyptus? Yeah. So sometimes it's important to do your research. Sometimes it is. Even if your research is just a simple Google search. <laughs> sometimes it's important to take a nap. You guys, I got up at 4.45 this morning. Oh, and what I got were you a, thinking? I got a lot of things done. You did. But now Thank I'm a little you. tired. I did. Right. I did get a lot of things done. So I'm going to send off some emails. I might take a little nap. I had my, I had my staff meeting. I had my pie. I think it's time to go to bed. I'm going to have some more pie. All right. All uh, right. Friends. Yes. What a pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Farewell. Off of Interstein. Oh, what? I also want to thank all of the people who have sent in their homework already. Oh, Good work, We got more e homework while this was happening. Oh, really? Yeah. So Well done. So, you so guys this are, is only Wednesday. And you guys are on you the guys list. Have, yes. You yeah. guys are not in detention. You won't be in detention this week. However, only L Puppy and H Puppy have sent in neologisms. That's true. I don't know why. Now, I know we're demanding more and more of you as time goes on. Yes. But that's what you. That's Pretty what soon happens we're going to demand you grow up. more things. Pretty soon I'm going to ask you to write my books. Mm -hmm. Robbie's going to ask you to illustrate them. There we go. So we can practice that's National Video is, Game Day. That's what this is all about. All right. um, we're just trying to replace ourselves. There was a time when we used to do videos, um, like live videos, and our editor, Aaron Stein, would watch them. 
and it and would look like we were done. And goodbye already, and then, guys. And then at the very end, we would keep going and going and going, and Aaron would write in the comments, Why won't you end the video? Like, that's what I imagined. She didn't. We just hate wrote, to say yeah, goodbye. We do hate to say goodbye. All so, right. All right. Um, goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye, friends. Good to see you. See y'all later. See you tomorrow. Bye.